of Element because the nav it's time to look at how we can create a navigation for a website and all this flex stuff really comes into play when we're styling a responsive navigation for a site. Before we get into the CSS, we need to know the markup behind them. Traditionally speaking, we use an unordered list and the unordered list will be placed in a nav element because the nav will be telling the browser that this is the main navigation for our site. So it will look something like this, where we have a nav. Inside the nav, we have the UL, which is our unordered list. And then we have our list items, which are links. There is some debate these days on whether or not we really need it to be in a list. The reason that we have traditionally done it this way is for accessibility reasons and because it is a list of the different pages that are on our site. These days, there is some discussion about whether we need to or if we could just have a nav with a bunch of links in it. Some people do this, but most sites you ever work on will be set up this way. And this is still by far the most popular and common way that you will see navigations created. So it's really important that we understand how to style a navigation when it's set up like this. If you can do it this way, it's much simpler if you didn't have the list items. So I do wanna show you the more complicated way because again, it is the one that you will run into in the real world. So I want you able to do that once you're done this course. Through the next bunch of videos, this is what we're going to be working on, which will be the navigation for the bigger site that we will be working on. And we're gonna start with this one here. Then we're gonna move into making it look like this instead. And then we're gonna make this the responsive version of this one right here. Um, I'm gonna go back to, to this slide and leave this one here for now and encourage you just to try and write it all up and set it all up. So um, here are all the colors and all the different things that I will be using. And just to give you a little bit of, um, to see how I visualize this when I'm looking at it, I put these pink boxes in to say I have my big, I have this big thing that's going to be the whole size here. Then I'm going to have an element here and that's going to have my H1 and a paragraph. And then I'm going to have another one here, which is the nav with the honored list in it. The reason that I'm setting it up like this is this is going to be my header and I'm I need to keep these two things grouped together. This is just going to be a div called site title or whatever you want to call it. It could be called logo. It could be site title or just title, which is the main sort of title of my actual website. It's almost like a logo, but we're just using some text for it. And then, as I said, we need to have our nav. So that's what this is going to be for. If you want to start off and do it on your own before you watch me do it in this video, I'm only going to be doing the markup. But you can see I have given you everything you need here to do it. And I've also already linked to the Google font and given you the two font family is listed right here. So if you want to go ahead and do more, by all means, see if you can get the whole thing working. In this video, though, I'm only doing the markup and then the next one, I'm going to start doing the CSS for it. All right, so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go in my body. As I mentioned, I'm going to have my header and close header. And let's get inside of there. And we can start putting some stuff. So I had that first part that had my title in it. And I said, I'm going to group that in a div. So let's give that a div class. And I'm going to close that div. And then we can give our class a name. So let's just call this site title. And in there, I'm going to have an H1 because it's really the title of my entire page or my entire site. And I'll come down and also put a paragraph. Now my paragraph, I will give a class to of subtitle and close paragraph. I'm not using an H2 because H2s really aren't meant to be subtitles. They're meant to be titles for different sections of the website. And when we build out the full site, hope we're going to see them. We're going to have a few H2s and H3s in the larger scale site once we get to that. So for now, I'm just doing a P class of subtitles so I can style that different from my other paragraphs that I will have within this site once we get to a bigger one. After that, I'm going to come and give myself my nav and close nav. And we can come into here and I'll have my UL and close UL. So that's my unordered list. And then I need my list items. So LI and inside my LI, I do need a link. So A href is equal to and close a and let's just take this whole thing and copy it paste them there and now i can come through and fill this out i'm just going to put hashtags for now because we don't have anywhere to go once we build out the whole site for this we're actually going to have a three page site so we're going to have to put in real links in here eventually um, but for now we'll put the placeholder this is my home in life there we go. There is all my content and you can see it doesn't look at all like what we want it to. So in the next video, we are going to start styling this up and making it look better. We have to deal with some extra spacing. We have these bullet points we need to disappear. There is a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do here. So we're going to see how we can get rid of those bullet points and then how we can bring in Flexbox and how it's going to work for all of this and how it makes our life much easier in setting up everything how we